us, tell us about his uh, development this year. Oh, he's been super for us. Yeah, obviously had a bit of an interrupted year with an ankle, but the way Max trained um, all over summer and the way he's built his game has been pretty impressive. Yeah, we noticed his run and and power throughout um, last last week's game was was significant for us. So he's come a long way, but plenty more left in him. Um, I'm not, not sure of a head of schedule. He, he's done a power of work with development coaches and, and all coaches really. So the credit goes to Max, um, clearly, uh, the way he's developed his game, the way he's bought into what we're trying to do and the way he handled the moments um, on the weekend was, was huge for us. He said he sees himself in the future as Yeah, definitely. He's played at times and games as an inside mid for us. That's the beauty about our team at the moment, it's pretty flexible. So um, yeah, we've asked uh, Max to play inside and his running power and his contested stuff is, is coming along. So um, we definitely see him as a, as a dual threat type of player. You spoke to Sam as well. He seems more nervous than in front of 9,000 at the G. Just talk us through his enclosure. It doesn't seem to be that No, it's, yeah, he's got a great group around him. Our, back, our backs are pretty experienced and, and work together really well. So. Um, you know, Sam stood up all year for us against some quality opponents and some guys that have more experience and probably more strength. So, um, you know, he works out ways how we can nullify them and, and impact the game. And, um, you know, his stuff on the ground, ground level is really, um, really come along. So for him to stand up and handle those moments and just join into that back line has, um, has really helped us. Just on the midfield, obviously, a lot of talk um, about the use of Paddy and Joel and then starting on the bench for the most part of that game. Yep. Um, yeah, I think if you, you look at the impact of you know of those guys and they come on, Joel's second half was was reasonably best on ground for mine. He, he was significant in the contest, and Pat had some great moments, and, and also gave opportunity um, other other mids to to get it going for us. You know, Guthrie, Atkins, and sometimes we use Mark Blitzarves in those roles. So I think it speaks to the depth um, in there, and you know we just don't ask one or two players to, to do all the lifting, heavy lifting. We want to share that load, and guys have really stood up. Atkins's last quarter was was significant as well. Obviously it helps manage Joel as well a bit, but do you expect Paddy will be demanding a bit more minutes come for the well, final week? I think he's just he's there to play his role within our midfield and for him him to keep you know strength and power and on the ball at all times. The the game now is so hard. We saw Collingwood's pressure was was fantastic and it's really uh, really tough to ask one or two players to shoulder all the load. So for us yeah we'll continue to use um, a, a number of players throughout that midfield and um, and play guys to their absolute strength. It's part of that thinking that heat comes out of the game after six or seven minutes and those guys can come in. Or can you just take us to the side? Uh, yeah, it's probably naive of us to think the heat's going to come out that quickly when you saw Collingwood's pressure pretty high all night. Um, the best teams are able to sustain that. So for us, it's just about spreading the load and, and, and for the guys when they're on, on the ground in, in those positions, just to give everything they've got. And we've, sh we've shown that throughout the year. Certain guys have started on the bench. Certain games, they've all they've all taken their turn, and um, the opportunity for other guys to stand up has been significant for us. What's the next nine days look like? So we've trained today. We have a, a bigger session over the weekend to replicate a game. How does the next nine days roll? Yeah, we've obviously been through it just a week ago with with the longer break. So we won't do everything exactly the same as what what we did last week. But um, yeah, we'll have a decent hit out um, Friday and. And then, uh, yeah, look towards next week and, you know, watch the game Friday night and, uh, and the next game Saturday. So, yeah, the boys will be, boys will be ready to go. When you start turning your attention to the opponent, you know, you know if you've got two, are you starting to read that work now or does that become more a, a focus after you know the result? No, a bit of both, Kingy. I think, yeah, we're, we're really focused on our game and what we need to do to beat whoever we play. But as a coach, um, with not not much to prepare for this weekend ourselves, apart from a training session, yeah, my, my focus will be on um, not just that game, but the other game as well. 48 hours after the update for first update on Collar, is there any further in terms of, you know, you said, you know, you said you but, you know, having an idea whether you can be right or not? Probably, yeah, we probably don't have all that information just yet. The beauty of winning, um, being the position and having the week off is to give guys like that the extra chance to, to get up. So, you know, uh, he'll, he'll discuss that with the medical team. We'll get the updates as we go and, um, you know, as next week we'll, be, we'll have a better idea. Yeah, really good, yeah. Guth, Guth played, um, played, played a really, 
really tough game for us. Um, he obviously didn't come back on in the West Coast game, just had a little, little shoulder complaint, but um, his, uh, his training was modified today. But um, there was a few other guys in the same boat. Friday, he'll have a full hit out and they pulled up well. How beneficial is that extra time off for, for someone like um, Jez, who obviously played fantastically well, but there was a couple of guys across different clubs who were brought back from injuries and didn't quite work out for them. Um, but when he had an off game as well as he and get another extra break to prepare for Freely, I mean, it's like you're celebrating it the prospect for it to continue doing whatever he wants to do rest under his belt. Yeah, exactly. Not, not only Jez, but our medical team, how they prepared and handled the situa situation was, was fantastic. Um, gave him every chance. We, you know, we were really confident um, in their process. So, yeah, I'm sure they're, gonna, they're going to have that same process with all, all our players, not just Jez, to give, give them and the team the best, the best chance to play well next, next Friday night. Bruce has had a really good year in the ruck, but anytime there's a, like it's experienced guy on the ad, the question's going to be asked, are you locked into him being your ruck in your brilliant final, or do you still have discussions about John Sinclair? Yeah, we'll have discussions about a number of um, ways we set up, not just in that position, but you know, all over the ground. That's the beauty of the position um, we find ourselves in as a group. We got we got a lot of depth. We got a lot of good players that um, unfortunately didn't play on the weekend. So, um, as a coaching group, yeah, we'll go to work on the opposition and what our best footy looks like as well. Um, Reese has had a great year, uh, and John's performed well when he's come in also. So, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, for, for discussion, but all, all positions really for us, we, we've got a flexible, deep squad. Yeah, as you said, the, the emergency line on the weekend was for really experienced, talented players. You got even more on the outside beyond that. What are those conversations like when you have to tell guys that have played a lot of footy that you're probably not in our team this week? Yeah, it's, it's one of the hardest jobs as a coach. Um, obviously, you work with work with um, a lot of guys throughout the year and guys that have done the job before for you. So, for us, it's. Um, yeah, they're, they're always challenging discussions, but um, you know we always need to put the team first, and the Geelong footy jumper comes first, and the team we pick m might look different. Um, it might not, but that's the beauty about our squad. We, we've got different areas and def different strengths we can lean on. Have you banned the spa this week after last week's preliminary final mishaps in terms of illness going through the squad? Nobody allowed in that or looking after themselves? Yeah, I, th I think uh, the facilities manager here, the facilities at Geelong, um, I think we had the uh, the portable spa last year over in Perth, so um, now nah, happy to be home here in Geelong this year. It was a fairly healthy group this time of year. Does the coaching group sort of feel like indicated by the, the choice to rest some of those more experienced guys throughout the year? Yeah, 100. percent Yeah, we haven't we haven't um, gone gone away from that all year. We've been pretty strong with our medical team and fitness department all working closely together. That what's going to give us the best prep um, in, in the biggest game. So. Some of that's been forced upon us with some injuries and some surgery, but um, those guys have planned it, planned it really well. And for players to stick to it um, and have belief and trust in that system, um, it's been a credit to them. Uh, yeah, there's obviously a lot of good players that had some good moments. Um, you know, for us, that just speaking um, on our team, that for other guys to get to get votes means that they stood up and took the moments, and we've got that depth. Um, I think that's the one thing that's, that's clearly um, helped us get to where we are now is we can rely on different guys at different times. We, we don't rely on the same four or five guys every week. Just on Reese, so <coughs> you saw Blitzalves take a few centre bounces late in the game. What's the messaging to Reese sort of around that and why you sort of wanted Mark and how you managed that? Yeah, it wasn't just this game. Um, we've done it all year. Um, guys have played different roles at different times. Um, Mark's played a lot of different positions. He's played a lot of ruck. Reese has played a lot of ruck. It's just sharing the load for us.